Okay, because uh, there's a lot of places going on lockdown right now, and uh, we're doing the mandatory ice uh, self quarantine thing here coming up, which essentially my understanding is that hey, you know, just you can continue to go out. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, you can still access public areas, you can still fish, uh, boat ramps are still remaining open, public parks are still open, just you can't congregate. They're gonna, it's allowing the law enforcement the opportunity to enforce uh, those laws where you don't want people congregating, uh, grouping up, that kind of thing to help with the spread of, to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. So you still can go outside, it's just stay six feet away from uh, people, don't congregate, don't do stuff in big groups, big public areas of, of where people have been meeting, like beaches and stuff I, I know are closed down, but um, I live in Osceola County. The parks are still open, the public land is still open. It's owned by the county. And um, so I'm gonna make the best of it. But uh, one thing that I've been meaning to do, and man, it's really hot right now. It's gonna be like 90 this weekend. Uh, one thing I've been meaning to do, and uh, somebody actually, a couple people have asked for, is show you my complete setup, my rig, what, what I have in terms of rods and things like that. So let's get started with that. So obviously you can see I'm fishing the uh, the native 10 Propel, Slayer Propel. Um, I have a, a whole overview video on that, so I'll link that in the description if you wanna see that. But I'm gonna jump onto some of the, my more importantly rods and stuff. I've gone over baits and things like that before, but let me get set up here and we'll go over the rods that I have. I run primarily with three. I do have four, but I haven't used the spinning uh, rod in a long time, but I'll, I'll cover that one as well. Okay, so this first setup I have here, this is a, a Shimano SLX combo. Uh, I believe it's the 150. Now, I'm a big believer in if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it works, use it. And I do not pay for this. Uh, this was given to me by the state, by the FWC, for winning last June's, or sorry, last July's uh, trophy catch. I had three fish that weighed a total of 26 and a half pounds, and that's how I got this. That, that alternates down here. You don't have to be a, a resident of Florida to compete in that. Uh, you submit your fish to, to trophy catch. They need to be weighed a certain way, and uh, they're offering bonuses now for people who also measure their fish. It's a great program. It's a catch and release program. It's aimed at making this be a, I mean, it's a, it's a propaganda tool. It's a marketing tool for them, but it's aimed at making people more aware of releasing trophy sized fish, which is what Florida is known for. But this combo is great. It's, it's, it's very light. I can throw it. Uh, I can't throw this as far as some of my other ones. And we'll talk about that in a little bit, but it's gotten, it's gotten me some big fish out of like hydrilla and things like that. It casts really smooth and it feels great when I'm winding it in. There's no, there's no doubt about it. I love the action on it. It's very sensitive. This combo runs about $200 if you go out and buy it yourself. So it's, it's about $100 for the reel, $100 for the rod. I prefer, I prefer to use light to medium uh, lures on this. So I'll be throwing, like right now I'm throwing a fluke. I'm trying to save all my swim baits for this weekend. Don't want to use them all. But, um, I don't think you need to get away with like pitching or pulling uh, bass out of really, really heavy cover with this. But it is a really good all around rod. Like I said, it winds smooth. I love the action on it. Uh, thanks to the state for doling this bad boy out to me. It is seven foot. And right now I have it rigged up with uh, 17 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, all my rods right now have fluorocarbon on them. And it's a choice of mine just because I, uh, some of the places I fish have really clear water and I've witnessed fish not hit a bait on mono and then come up and absolutely destroy it when it's on fluoro because they can't see the line, especially places where they get a lot of pressure or places where the fish can see you, things like that. Um, I'm very much a floral guy. I'm not saying that that's what you should do. I'm not saying that's what's for you, but that's how I fish it. And that's uh, something I've gotten kind of used to. I understand that in, well, from my experience, floral has really bad line memory. So if you're prone to getting backlashes, that's probably not what you want to have. The water's a lot shallower here, I think, than 
it looks. I can see the hydrilla right there. We're gonna back up here in a second. But that's my first rod. Uh, I like to throw swim baits on this. I have thrown top water on it. I like it for both of those things. Um, again, it's really sensitive. It's a great all around rod and it's gonna run you about 200 bucks. Okay, this next setup I have, I throw primarily my stick baits and soft plastics on. But this is the uh, H2O Express. This is the Arduro. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's the Arduro. It's seven foot, just like the SLX combo. And I have it paired with a Ivo Garcia Silver Max. And this one, I can just bomb a mile. This one also has 17 pound floor on it. I had 14 on it. I could just throw this Sanko like forever. Uh, it's a really good rod. I was really hesitant. I was looking for a, a secondary um, bait cast rod when I was starting out and I just happened to have money or I was given a gift certificate to go and get a, a reel. So I got this really, I prefer to see a Silver Max, which I love. It, this one's pretty beat up, but it still works. It's, I've caught, the biggest fish I've ever caught was on this rod and this reel. And I like this reel very much because of uh, the release mechanism. So this, this lever right here allows me to close the bale, no problem which means I can work this rod one-handed if I need to release that kind of thing. So essentially I can, I can bomb the cast, you know, get some backlash, we'll get the backlash out. But if I threw the cast with one hand, I can close the, close the reel up and we don't have a problem. This rod has a really good backbone. It's fairly stiff and that was my concern when I first bought it. But um, I had, this is how I tested, I was in the shop and I was like, my wife was with me and I said, hey, can you just uh, tap the tip of the rod? And when she did, I could feel the entire rod shake. And I knew that while it may, might be a fairly stiff rod, it's got a really, it's really sensitive. Um, it's handled some big fish, absolutely no problem. And this rod is probably, you know, the best rod I've owned for the money. I don't know the backlash problem right now. But um, the rod itself, uh, is, I got it for 40 bucks. So for $40 with a $50 reel on it, this is by far, you know, one of my favorite setups. It's a, it's a great rod. It's great for the money. Um, I highly recommend it if you're getting started. It's a nice lightweight rod too. There's not a lot of weight to it. And it's extremely sensitive. 40 bucks, you can't beat that. It's made by Academy. It's the H2O Express brand, the Arduro series. It's seven foot. All my rods are seven foot. And there's a very specific reason for that. Um, I don't have a truck. I don't have a place to put my rods other than inside of the vehicle. So seven foot just happens to be the perfect distance between where a, uh, the middle armrest would come down to the back seat of a Camry and the front window. It also happens to be the, almost the exact same distance inside of a RAV4, which just happens to be my new vehicle. So I can put these rods inside. They can lay across, absolutely no problem. If I put down the seats, that's even better, but if I need to transport like my kids and my wife, like we're all going fishing together, then I can easily put all our rods right up the middle, up the middle console, and uh, there's no bend or worry or anything like that, and I can get the entire family in. So this combo has seen a lot of action. This combo is great. I love it. Uh, is it like the most professional grade? Probably not. But I have caught, like I said, the biggest fish I ever caught, 9, 9 12 was on this rod in real combo. All right, the last one I have is a new rod. And I ended up with this because I had an Ethos from H2O Express, which is around uh, $80. They have another one that doesn't have a cork handle that's right around, I wanna say uh, $90. I love that rod. It was a great rod, lightweight, uh, extra strong, it just, I don't think this was, it's not on the manufacturers on me. I, um, when I put the rods in, when I had the back seat laying down, I had the rods going up through center console and the tips made it right to the center console. But unfortunately I have to get inside of that. So I went to close the garage door and put the close or the remote in the center console. And I think I closed it on the rod tip pretty hard. And I think, uh, that's why the rod tip broke. So I don't think it has anything to do with the manufacturer. That, that's, I'm pretty sure that that's all on me. But that rod tip broke. Um, I was using it with a broken tip for a little bit, you know, cut off the tip and, and keep going, but it just didn't, it didn't last.
Um, it ended up breaking again, and at that point, you know, I lost like six, seven inches on the rod. So I was like, nah, we'll skip it. This reel, same thing, Silver Max 17 pound fluoro was on uh, an older bait casting rod that I had. And uh, there was a gar right there. Anyway, I ended up winning some credits in a uh, tournament. So I was able to buy this rod at essentially $100 off. Uh, this is an ALX Vero Storm. It's a seven foot, it's a, uh, a medium heavy. I really like this rod. I, I, at first I wasn't really sure. ALX makes good rods. They are much more expensive. You're talking 150 and up. Uh, if I had to pay 150 straight up for this rod, I don't think I would have done it. There goes that gar underneath my boat. <laughs> Uh, this rod's a little bit different than the other ones I have in the sense that uh, it has a much more flexible tip. If I, if I do this, you can see how the, the tip kind of flexes a lot. So it has a pretty strong backbone and about, I would say, three quarters of the way up, it starts to get really whippy, which allows me to just absolutely bomb like a, a whopper plopper or something. I can throw these things this a mile. So again, everything I've got is rigged up with 17 pound floor at the moment. I do have a spinning rod and it's a, a Delta, uh, six, six, two piece Delta spinning rod by Academy H2O Express. It's a great spinning rod. It, it flexes a lot, but it's very strong. I've caught six, seven pound fish on that, no problem. Um, I primarily use it if I uh, want to throw something much lighter. So if I'm throwing small crankbait, if I'm throwing you know a, a wacky rig, I'm going to put it on that. Um, I have that rigged up with 12 or 14 pound floral, depending, because I usually take it up to Shingle Creek where uh, the fish get really picky if the if they can see your if they can see your line. They don't they want anything to do with it if they can see it. So lighter baits I typically throw on there. Um, I love that. That's probably my favorite spinning rod that I've ever owned caught quite a few big fish on it and because it's a two-piece it can go pretty much anywhere I used to be able to put it in the back of my well I used to leave it in the trunk of my Camry and then just drive around and if I was on the way home from work I'm like well, that looks a good spot I would uh, I would stop there and pull it out and fish it was really convenient I have that paired up with the I think it's a Shimano uh, I want to say it's a 1200 series I, I have to go take a look I'll put the correct uh, item name in the in the description here, but it's uh, it's one of those cheaper spinning reels. And the reason I picked it up is because one, it was cheap and I didn't have a lot of money at the time. So, you know, $14 was, was a killer deal on something. So I picked up for $14, it's, it's all metal. Uh, I mean, there are some plastic on it, like some of the knobs and stuff are plastic, but the make itself is mostly metal. And I'm very happy with that, considering the fact that there were several other reels that I'd owned before that, they were more expensive, they're mostly plastic that just gave out. This thing I've pounded, I've dropped on rocks, I've had friends use and you know they've busted it up pretty good and it still works. And that's the most important thing to me with something like that, with a rod where I'm gonna be going bank beating and getting in underneath stuff or you know packing it tight is durability. And that uh, reel is just, it's, it's a monster for what it is. It's great combo, it's great combo. It's old school, it doesn't look super flat, it's not super flashy, and, but I don't care about that, it's functional. And that's the most important thing to me, it's functional, I like it, that guard is still circling my boat. Water is extra dirty today. Shark bait. Alright. It's not a total waste today. I caught one. 
Okay, so that's pretty much gonna sum it up for me uh, on like what my basic rig out is. If you guys have any specific questions, you know, let me know. Otherwise, that's that's it. It's it's fairly simple. Uh, I don't have anything super expensive. The most expensive thing I have is you know, two of my combos cost maybe two hundred bucks. One's a hundred fifty dollar rod with a fifty dollar reel, and one's a hundred dollar reel with a hundred dollar rod. And uh, I just try to keep it simple as long as it works. Um, to me, this is a this is fun and. I can make a little bit of money while doing it even better but there's no point in sinking thousands and thousands of dollars into something uh that uh you know it doesn't doesn't give me anything back oh you know i did that with music and music's paid itself back all my equipment has been paid for um this kayak even you know this was essentially paid for by last year's fishing tournaments which is why i bought it um but so that's my basic rig up again if you got any questions you know, let me know otherwise um you know stay safe out there uh, hopefully this thing will end in the next few weeks and life will get back to normal for now though you know fishing is still available for most of us here in Florida and uh, you can go out just don't be grouping up with your buddies you go out by yourself or and then you know share your war stories or your big catch pictures afterwards um, but until the next time guys you know stay safe I'll catch you back out in the water